Welcome to Bendigo Art Gallery. My name's Emma bazowski cox I'm one of the curators here, and I'm delighted to introduce the Paul Guest Prize for 2020. The Paul Guest Prize is an award and exhibition held every two years that highlights contemporary drawing practice in Australia. The prize was initiated by former family court judge and Olympic rower, the Honourable Paul Guest OAM QC, and encourages artists from across Australia to engage with the important medium of drawing in contemporary art practice. The prize is a non-acquisitive cash award of $15,000. This year's prize has attracted entries from across the country and there is an incredibly diverse array of styles and approaches included. What is a drawing? A drawing is traditionally associated with particular materials such as pencil, ink and charcoal and paper. However, we also accept that artists draw on canvas, on ceramics, on walls, on computer screens. Drawing can be a way of exploring new ideas as a development tool or used as a process towards completing a finished work. And of course, a drawing can be a finished work in itself. The use of line is commonly understood as a characteristic of drawing. However, works that do not express a distinctive line perhaps an abstraction that encompasses solid blocks of colour only, can also be understood as a drawing. Taking this definition even further, this use of a line, a drawing could also be three-dimensional and encroach into our physical space. It could incorporate or consist of text and language. We often notice evidence of the artist's hand in a drawing. A gesture, for example, in which we can clearly see has been hand-drawn. However, artists these days are also making use of digital technology to create drawing works. A drawing may be highly rendered and representational or purely abstract. A drawing can combine many of these elements together. So it is in this spirit that as an institution administering the Paul Guest Prize for Contemporary Drawing, we do not prescribe a definition of drawing. We believe it is up to artists to interpret that definition, to explore and push the limits of their practices and established concepts. And that's one of the things that is so exciting about this prize. Perhaps not surprisingly, there are several works in this year's exhibition where artists have responded to the extraordinary set of circumstances that COVID-19 and 2020 has presented to us globally. 2020 has been a year none of us will forget. This drawing by Richard Luer was made as a response to the Black Summer bushfires. Responding to the horrific images in the media depicting the personal, community and environmental losses, the artist visited some of the affected communities in East Gippsland in the aftermath of the fires. This drawing depicts people in a smoke-affected urban setting wearing face masks and now also represents cities around the globe plagued by the outbreak of COVID-19. Lily May Martin is a visual artist born in Melbourne and now based in central Victoria. Her distinctive style is influenced by the mark making of etching and the layering techniques of European master printers and painters, characterised by delicate and detailed cross hatching with a fine pen. Here she depicts the central Victorian landscape at Clunes. In David Sequeira's ongoing suite of works on paper, Song Cycle, the artist uses colour, geometry and text to render contemplative, diagrammatic forms on sheets of music manuscript paper. These are songs visualised. Each intense concentration of colour and geometry is read in conjunction with its title, which is written in pencil at the bottom of each sheet. Each visual song honours its own aspect of art and life. The artist has drawn a correlation between these works and Indian miniature painting and tantric painting, in that interaction with them takes place in a contemplative space between the image and word, between seeing and perceiving. Music drawing by Mary Barton is a mixture of gouache, pen, pencil and texture. 
The artist describes her love of music and the ways she uses it to transcend her mind and body. This work is part of a series that responds to the feelings produced by different sounds and musical moments in time and is joyfully expressive in its energy, colour and movement. Tiger Yel Tanki is an Anangu artist from Indulkana community on the APY lands in northwest South Australia. Yaltanki is largely non-verbal, so his artistic practice represents his primary form of self-expression. Yaltanki works every day at Iwancha Arts Art Centre, and his vibrant and prolific artistic output is closely informed by his love of music. He paints to an eclectic soundtrack spanning from ACDC to Hank Williams. Rock and roll represents a joyous celebration of the music and musicians that hold meaning for Yeltanki and inspire his self-expression. The judge for the 2020 award is Leslie Harding, Artistic Director of Heidi Museum of Modern Art in Melbourne. And this year, we are also putting it to the people by launching a People's Choice Award for the public's favourite work. You can cast your vote on our website.